I actually been literally sitting here for 20 minutes just trying to figure out what to say because this game came out in 2016 and the fact that I'm in 2018 trying to play this game it just doesn't make any sense anyway guys welcome back to my channel basic Cal for once again if you are new to my channel you just came across this video I am basic Cal for I do walkthroughs of different games that have recently come out and that are newer games and stuff like that and I will be starting up newer games this year guys so don't worry I won't be playing all old games well this game's not this old it's really like about a year or two years old so that's why I'm playing this game but um, I really wanted to start on Mafia 3 guys because I remember playing Mafia 2 at a friend's house like a couple years ago um, in middle school so um, I just wanted to play this game up for y'all but um, if y'all want to see a full series of this uh, game just uh, destroy the like button on this first part and it, go it makes me sure that that y'all want to see more videos but I love y'all just keep doing what you're doing and Let's get this video started guys. Here we go. Let's do this All right guys, I just came into the thing but yeah look at what it's talking about Oh, it's talking about the depiction of racism. So yeah guys this stuff is dealing with in real time So yeah, that's pretty interesting uh, all racism in all its forms. Okay hangar 13. Wow Yeah, guys, it's got some serious facts to it. So let's keep playing Modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French Ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family-oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Alrighty guys, Mafia 3. Holy freaking crap guys, this game is getting good so far. Can't wait to play it. Alrighty guys, we made it here. New uh, bro Brocade uh, LA, which is basically noise. Actually, tell you the truth, oh, I'm going to explain it in a minute guys, hold up. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Aw, oh, snap, guys. Why take the chances? Pick the keys up. So, yeah, guys, we're finally in here. Let's hey, do man, this. Grab those keys. So, we gotta go pick these keys up in the office or whatever. But yeah, guys, actually, I wanted to tell y'all that I'm actually from uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, so that's sure why it's like this like game this. game makes sense to me a little bit. All right, what the frick? Hold up. Why don't I just pick him up? Okay, can I send him down? Yeah, put him over there. I don't know what that was for. Anyway, let's pick these keys up. Uh-oh, looks like, guys, I'm going to be driving in a few minutes. So bear with me if, the, if my driving sucks in this game. We should get going. You got the keys, so you I can drive. I figured. I knew I was going to drive. Let's get the hell out of here. Now, how are we supposed to get out of there? Can't go out that way, can we? Ah, oh, duh. Through this way. I'm so stupid. Anyway, let's go. But yeah, guys, this is all based on true facts of racism. You know, racism is still alive, so I don't want to go into all that extraness. But yeah, it deals with racism in this game. So let's get out of here. All right, let's go and drive. That's what I just did, right? I was just driving. I was like, dude, I couldn't even accelerate for a minute. It wouldn't let me at first. All right, guys, keep driving. All right, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? 5%? 
thereabouts, and not like he'll be able to spend it. Said to be watching his every move for the rest of his life. Probably be better we just whack him. If I learn anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there. Use him to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. Are you going to answer the question or what? Yeah. Oh, snap. I almost hit those cars. What the frick? That was close. I waiting the civvies for Charlie overran every day. Anyway, we getting them onto a medical ship. This woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says then? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey man, you ask. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some Goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything's bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. So we have two main characters, guys. We have Georgie and uh, we have, uh, well, that's one of the characters. The Really, the main character is Lincoln Clay. So pretty much, guys, yeah, guys, this is all in New Orleans, too, man. Like, this city just, I'm, I'm going to just want to go back home sometimes. I'm living in Atlanta, Georgia right now, so that's why. It's like, it kind of makes sense. But, yeah, I'm from New Orleans, so that's why I'm, I was born, you know? It's a great city, guys. If you have a chance to go, go there, man. Really, it's really a good city. Oh shoot! All right, I guess we gotta go in here, guys. Back it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, I ain't like I've never been called nigga before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying if I go along with it, ain't nothing personal. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. So it looks like guys were doing some uh, like robbery business or something. Hey, I don't know. We may when be I wrong, but... About being hot, what that's the freak? We make our move. All right. All right, enter the Federal Reserve. Oh, yeah, guys, we are doing this. Holy freaking crap. Where we got to go? Through here? All right, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, snap, guys. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. All right, we did it. Okay, let's go through. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. Where are we supposed to go? I'm just trying to wait on him because I'm not sure where to go, guys. Alright, I guess we just gotta go in here, maybe? Yep, looks like it. Pick up the money. Oh, wait, wrong way. Goodness gracious. Hold up, let me go around. Ah, I see what we're doing. We're bringing the money to the Federal Reserve, which we are doing now, so... Hold up. Pick the money up. Alright, we're doing good, guys. Yeah, let's go. The game reminds me so much now of GTA 5. A lot of people keep saying this game is just like GTA 5 when you rob stores, stuff like that. I think you could do this in this game, I believe, but um, we're just going to have to play further. This is only the first part. Scattergun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One last goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. All right, guys, bring the money back to the uh, in the base. Let's do this. Buying I said base, the, the freight, the reserve. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. 
Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. Bro, what the frick? Get down my way. This man just walked in my way, guys. I know y'all saw that. God fearing white man can't get a job. They old nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. Alrighty, guys, here we go. We made it downstairs. So I'm not sure what the more of the I, every time I try to talk, the guard talks. Freaking A man. Hold up. <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, and it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. It doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. So I'm not sure if this is Lincoln's job to do this, we are. but I'm guessing we just got to bring the money down here, and I think that's it. I don't know, but we'll see. Is he going to close the door? Oh, yeah, he did. Put those bags on the table there. All right, guys, go and put it over there. Oh, what are we doing? Are we burning this? I don't know. What, what's the point of that? I don't know. All right, here we go. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. I guess the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Yes, Alright guys, oh yeah, it looks like we are gonna rob him. Holy freaking crap. Alright, let's do this. Let me go behind him and see what happens. Uh oh, here we go guys, here's the heat. And, huh, let's go. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna hide the body real quick. I should burn him. Hold up. Can I put him in here or what? Oh, that don't work. Alright, hold on guys, let me pick him back up. Holy freaking crap. You take care of those guards. All right, let me put him back here, just to be safe. I know what the fuck I'm doing. He's sleeping. Nobody will know. Oh snap, guys! Looks like we're all gonna rob them. Holy freaking crap! This is epic. I don't know, guys. I may still do this all in one part, but we'll see. All right, hold up. Take cover. And wait. Make sure there's nobody around. All right, here we go. Take him out. So unless guns, we could still like. Oh shoot! What is he doing? Hold up. Let me just take him. I don't want to shoot anybody just yet. There we go. We good. All right, pick this gun up. All right, switching weapons. Uh, hold LB to use R to select weapon, then release LB. Okay, so that makes sense. All right, so we can switch. Okay, nice. I'm gonna keep the pistol for now though. There we go. All right, we gotta enter the vault. So how are we supposed to get in there? Oh, wait, over there. All right, here we go. Oh, I hope this domination skeleton got us. Is that legit? Well, I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Danny's done drilling. Hey, you gonna pull this off. 